Salut! Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about one show that is making waves lately. We're going to tackle Lupin, which is kind of like the successor to the book Arsène Lupin. You'll see why in the TV show. I highly recommend you to go watch it first. We're going to break down some slang and some stuff that is interesting in there for you to learn. So use this video more as like a study guide alongside with the TV show. Today we're going to focus on episode one. So let's get to it. C'est parti. C'est bon. C'est bon is interesting because here c'est bon means it's fine, it's good. Be careful, we have a difference between bien and bon. Bien A is more for general good. Like for example, you did something good, c'est bien. But bon is more here for, yep, yeah, all good, c'est bon. It's enough. Allez, allez, on se dépêche. Se dépêcher. Se dépêcher, that's a reflexive verb, which means to hurry up. On se dépêche. That's something you say often in order to mean, let's hurry. Allez, allez, on se dépêche. Ciao, ciao. Ils le mettent aux enchères la semaine prochaine. Il paraît que ça va dépasser les 20 millions. Interesting thing that is not transcribed correctly here. Il paraît que ça va dépasser les 20 millions. Or here, it kind of chops off that il. So, paraît que ça va dépasser les 20 millions. Basically, il paraît means apparently, supposedly. It's a very slang way to do that. Putain. <laughs> We studied this one before. Go check my video about it, by the way. Ça va, tu peux te l'offrir, hein, c'est quoi Bilan de SMIC <laughs> <laughs> Le SMIC. Le SMIC, that's the French equivalent of minimum wage. So it's an acronym. But basically, when somebody tells you, je gagne le SMIC, that means I'm paying minimum wage. T'as une sale tête, Hassan. T'as une belle gueule, mais t'as une sale tête. Ooh, subtle. Avoir une belle gueule means to look good or to be a hunk type of thing. Basically here, like, they translate it well, you're handsome. But une belle gueule is very, very relaxed, very slang. Mais t'as une sale tête, so remember that gueule is a slang replacement for tête or visage. T'as une sale tête, however, is completely different. Basically, you look awful, you look like crap. Figure-toi que j'ai un job. Un job? A job, that's something that we recycle from English. So we kind of try to pronounce it the same way as in English. A job, just make that O oh, a little bit uh instead. A job, a job. It's complicated and it won't last very long, right? Oui, bon, comme d'hab. Comme d'hab. Very interesting tidbit right here. You'll see that French people usually have this reflex of cutting things short. Here, the full expression is comme d'habitude. Same graph, different day, as usual. Bien sûr, tu peux voir Raoul ce week-end. Mais est-ce que lui va avoir envie de te voir Tu as quand même planté trois fois de suite. C'est que je peux le faire bien. Planter quelqu'un is to stand someone up. Basically, here, tu l'as planté trois fois, you stood him up three times. Garde tes sous. Achète plutôt un cadeau à Raoul. Garde tes sous. Ah, this is interesting because you probably saw several things in order to say money. Probably say l'argent. But here, she uses les sous. Les sous, that's an old French word meaning change or coins. Here, it's almost derogatory. Garde tes sous, keep your pocket change type of thing. En fait, euh, j'ai une galère. Une galère. Avoir une galère, that means to have a problem. J'ai une galère, j'ai pas la thune. Et je voulais voir avec Vincent si c'était possible. J'ai pas la thune. La thune, that's another way to say cash. Here, it's used a little bit more in a ghetto environment or you know, kind of as a slang, it's almost like moolah. It's not super common anymore, but it's a slang one that we have. Bouge de la, bâtard, putain. Attends. Bouge de la, I love it. Bouge de la, get out of here. Bouge de la, bouger, to move. Get the fuck away from here, asshole, bastard. Bâtard, we use bastard a lot. Kind of like we use it in the UK, you know? In English, in UK English, you use bastard a lot. But yeah, in French, it's super popular and it's an insult. Bouge de by the way, is a great song from MC Sola, which I recommend if you're into French rap. Ooh, oseille. Another one that is interesting. L'ose, that's comparable to dough. So another way to say money here. It's a good job, ça. Ça dépend. 
un job de merde chez les jobs. I covered merde recently, so look it up. But here, de merde is something that we have to say shitty. J'ai besoin de quelqu'un qui décide vite et bien. Un gars un peu costaud. Costaud, strong. Un gars un peu costaud. Costaud can mean stocky or can mean strong in the context. So here, basically, he's saying strong. Et euh, comment on rentre Juste avec nos bonnes gueules Remember earlier, une bonne gueule, avoir une bonne gueule, is to look good. So here, he uses it in a way to just say like, and how the fuck are we supposed to get in? Like, we're relying on our good mugs, on our good looks. Là-bas, il y a toujours qu'un seul gars, il est toujours à l'ouest. Être à l'ouest, être à l'ouest, that means to be spaced out or basically to not focus. Think of it as more like, Someone that is not focused at all on his job. Y a rien à craindre. Rien à craindre. Now, craindre is an old French verb that we use in order to say to fear. Rien à craindre. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear. Et puis, tu désactives les caméras. Si les caméras tombent en rade plus de deux minutes, le commissariat est prévenu. Okay, interesting. They actually haven't translated that correctly. Si les caméras tombent en rade. Tomber en rade, that means to break down or to not work. And another one that is interesting, les flics. Les flics sont prévenus. The cops. Les flics, the cops. Au bout de deux minutes, les flics déboulent et mettent trois minutes à arriver. Débouler, that's to rush somewhere, either in or out. In this context, they're getting out of the police station and they take three minutes to get there. So faire gauler is to get caught. It's a slang for to get caught. Like, you could use it in this sense where it's literally to get called by the cops, but also you could use it in other situations, like for example, a guy cheating on his girlfriend. Oh, il s'est fait gauler! Yeah, he got caught. C'est chaud, mais ça vous laisse le temps d'arriver là. C'est chaud. Well, that's hot, literally. But we use that as it's intense. Vous piquez le colis et vous sortez. In this context, piquer means to steal. C'est ici que tu bosses. Bosser. Bosser means to work. So here. C'est ici que tu bosses. That's where you're working. Tenez, bon courage. Two things that are interesting here. Tenez and bon courage. Tenez means hold. It's actually an order. We use the imperative tense. Here, hold this. We don't really use it as an order to hold something anymore. More like as here. Bon courage literally means good courage. But we use it as good luck. It's almost like bon courage is more based on how hard you're going to work yourself, not based on luck. Qui se fait dérober. Il y a 25. To faire dérober quelque chose means to get something robbed or something stolen. La famille Pellegrini se le fait dérober got it stolen or it was stolen from them. Central, on va checker les vestiaires. That is an interesting example. In this sentence right here, you see that we use a lot of English slang and we adapt it in French. We're checking the lockers or we're going to check the locker room. We use the verb to check in English. We Flash ER after it, so we make it an ER verb, conjugate it like a normal ER verb. Je check, tu check, you check, etc. On va checker les vestiaires. We're gonna check the lockers. Mais allez-y, vous gênez surtout pas. Vous ne pas pour lire. Allez-y. Allez-y, this is interesting here because allez-y, he's saying just like, come on, just like, go for it, go ahead, allez-y. Here, E doesn't really replace anything, it's more a placeholder to say, yeah, continue doing what you're doing. Go for it, go ahead. Shoot. So he's pronouncing that shh. Basically, we write it down like this, shoot, and sometimes you can pronounce that T to emphasize a little. Shoot. And that's more the French version of shush, basically. Doubler quelqu'un is to double cross somebody. T'inquiète, on va le doubler avant. T'inquiète is the short version of ne t'inquiète pas. Don't worry. So now we say t'inquiète a lot more. Je suis très et très à cheval, vous savez, sur les procédures. Être très à cheval sur quelque chose is to be very strict about something. Hé, à quoi tu joues là Barrez-vous maintenant. Barrez-vous. So, se barrer is to get out. Oui, madame. Merci, madame. Pardon, madame. Allez vous faire foutre, madame. <laughs> Bird. So, allez vous faire foutre. This is interesting. So basically here, allez vous faire foutre, madame. Uh, go to hell is not super strong here compared to what it actually is. Here it's more like, 
Go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> une bagnole, une bagnole, that's a slang way to call a car. And that's it for today. Woo, that's a good show and I absolutely recommend you to binge it. By the way, one extra resource that might be interesting for you if you're using Netflix to watch TV shows, which I absolutely recommend, of course, is to use an extension on Chrome called Language Learning with Netflix. It's free, it's a game changer. I recommend it to all my students in private and group classes that I give and basically helps you overlay stuff, French and English subtitles at the same time. Uh, you can navigate the subtitles with your keyboard and all that kind of stuff. It is a game changer. So I absolutely recommend you to, to get it. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, and, and I'm not getting paid for this. I legitimately use that all the time. So I recommend it. Voila! If this video was useful to you, like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And also, Comment below if there's a word or an expression from the first episode that I didn't cover and that you want me to explain. I'll be happy to do it. A bientôt! See you soon!